Due to the surprising success of my last video about customizing your Mac, I'm making another one sooner than I thought. So, this video is about customizing your dock. But before I get into all the fancy stuff, I'm going to show you the very basic way. All you have to do is go into System Preferences, click on Dock, and here you can choose, change a lot of stuff, like the size, the magnification, and even the position on the screen. By the way, guys, you can change the position easier by holding down Shift and just dragging it anywhere. You can also change the way you minimize a window from teeny to scale. So scale looks like this in slow motion. But I prefer Genie. And you can make it so your applications animate or not when they open, which is when they bounce up and down. And you can automatically hide and show the dock to expand your screen real estate. But that's really not a lot at all. So smart people, smart talented people, decided to make applications, most of which are freeware, to help you customize your dock. So, my favorite applications for doing this are Docker, Super Docker, and Dock Library, and Candy Bar, but Candy Bar is not free, so. So, the first one I'm going to show you is Docker, because it is the simplest, first one I ever downloaded first time I'm opening it because I actually re-downloaded it for this video. So it's actually been updated since I used it a while ago. And here you can change your dock from 2D to 3D. I'm not going to really show you because you have to apply it. So You can also make your icons translucent when they're hidden. So if I press Command H, the icon in the dock will actually be transparent so you know they're hidden. And you can also change the color of the indicator, which you can't even do in the application Super Docker, which is supposed to be like Extreme Docker, but it's really not. And you can change the separator style here. I'm not really going to show you everything because that would make this video too long. But that's for styles and colors. You can also change the color of your 3D dock and the outline. If it's a 2D dock, you can change the color of the outline and your magnification, dock positioning. So when it's in the on the bottom, you can make it uh, left aligned or right aligned instead of right in the center. And there's basically just a bunch of settings here. If I go into stacks and spaces, you can have a gradient over your stack like I do here. And as you can see, the background on my stack is white, which I will go over in this video. And you can add a favorite and recent item stacks, which I have done and add dock spacers to separate applications in your dock. And you can also change these icons within this application. As you can see, there's a bunch of options. So that's pretty much Docker for you. And the next one I'm going to show you is Super Docker. In Super Docker, again, you get these same options. Um, and you like Docker, you can change the color of your dock, but you can make it a preset, as you can see here, with dock themes, so um, that's slightly different, so instead of changing each time, you can just click on one. And you also get more options for your stacks, which I'll show you later in the video. The last application I'm going to show you is Dock Library, but before I show you that, um, I'm going to show you applications that you should... Not. I'm going to show you websites that you should go to to get the dock skins. So the one that everybody tells you to go to is leoparddocks.com. But if you look here, these docks are really, really ugly. Well, not all of them, but most of them. And as you can see, my dock is very simple. I'm really picky about them, so I personally don't like leopard docks. Another website is leoparddocks.net. So this is definitely a step up because they look a lot nicer. Uh, these people actually look like they've used Photoshop before. So um, all you have to do is click download doc and it'll save. It'll be a folder in your downloads folder. And 
Another website you can go to is macthemes2.net slash forum and you can go into Mac releases and try to find a doc release. So here for example, where to go? Um 10.5 doc and as you can see this doc isn't just the like a doc with a picture behind it. It's actually designed differently and that's really I think the point of customizing your doc is to get it to look different than the default. So that's a good website to go to. You could go to DeviantArt and just search Mac Docs. That's really useful. Or you can go to superdocker.com and they have uh, docs as well and these look pretty nice too. So I'm going to go out ahead and download this doc. And there's all these docs. So the SuperDocker docs are actually made to use with the SuperDocker application. So I'll show you that. They also have other things you can download, but I'll, that'll be in a different video. So I'm going to open SuperDocker again. And here's the doc that I downloaded from superdocker.com. You can just open it. When you open the doc that you downloaded, it'll actually open in SuperDocker, the application, and that's basically all you have to do. Or if you don't want to do that, you can download Doc Library, which is another application to store all your doc skins, and just click import, and then simply import the doc you want. This one won't work though because of the file that it's saved as. So for doc library the only websites you can really go to are leoparddocs.net and leoparddocs.com. Mac themes docs usually work better with candy bar so that's also a good application for customizing your doc. Okay so next part of this video is customizing your doc stacks. I already went over how you can get the gradient uh, you can use Docker, Super Docker, but Super Docker actually allows you to change the background color. So, as you can see, mine's white, and all you have to do is go into this little stack section, and here you can also add a stack of recent items. Um, and you can just go to Customize Background, Other Color, and you can change the color. A lot of people also ask me how do I change my stack so a folder displays in the beginning or not necessarily a folder but a nice icon. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that you need is to download a uh, icon for your stack. So I'll have links in the description of the ones that I use of the icon set that I used. Um, there's also one specifically for the stack called like drawer, so it looks like your folders are actually in a drawer. Um, if I can find that, I'll put it in the description as well. But I'm just going to find the ones I use. So I use these, they're blob icons. And if I scroll down, there should be, as you can see, stacks. So these are meant for stacks. So let's say I want to change my applications. I'm going to press Command I on this icon. Now I'm going to go into the folder I want to put it on. For example, I'll just put it on my um, applications folder. So all you have to do is create a new folder inside your applications folder. So Command Shift N is a shortcut for that. And make sure you title it dash one dash. Press enter and it'll go all the way back to the top. And now you're gonna have to change the icon of this folder. So press Command I and go on to the new icon, press Command C. Make sure it's highlighted here by clicking on it. Click on the next icon and press Command V. And there, as you can see, 
it's changed. So if I drag this applications folder onto my dock, the icon is the icon that I just changed it to. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. And my next customization tutorial will have to do with icons. And there will be some things in there that I'm sure a lot of you don't know. Um, even though it's still basic, it's not as basic. So look out for that. And my next videos will probably be just application reviews because I have to get those out there before I can give away six applications. So also look for that video. So <laughs> I've tried filming this video at least ten times. Okay, you know what? Fine. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. I hope it wasn't too long or too disorganized. I've tried filming this so many times, so I'm sick of it now. Anyways, I keep saying anyways. Arg! Comment below with your thoughts. Links in the description. And thanks for watching.